of beautiful people you will not believe who I ran into today. I have a surprise for you. Let's come over here and see who it is. Y'all know who this is? Everybody, it's your home girl, Ish, Afro Millennial Mama here. I'm here having lunch with the happy companion, Mr. Saeed, my Long Beach brother and some other uh, repats, uh, future repats we got together and we decided to have lunch. We're here in uh, Little Ethiopia in LA. Check it out, check it out, check it out. All right, let's go in there and get some food. I'm hungry. People, you will not believe who I ran into today. I have a surprise for you. Let's come over here and see who it is. Y'all know who this is? What up, what up? She, she in the house, happy companion. What's up, what's up? Eastside Long Beach, where you at? Where this Eastside is at? Long Beach 49er, buddy. <laughs> we having some Ethiopian food. That's right, that's right. Since he came back to town <laughs> with some friends, some friends over here. Hi. We all repatting. That's right. How you doing, Melanated Mr. Mosley from Compton? So this is Mr. Happy Companion. Say what's up to the Afro Millet, the village. Gambian handshake. There you go. You know what this means? How y'all doing, Africa <laughs> Village? This we had good Ethiopian food today. He's all subscribers, all vloggers. We had a little networking. We're all about to go overseas, about to go to the motherland, repatriate back. Good ideas. It's always good to meet with people of like mindedness yes. who are trying to stick together no matter what your faith, no matter what part of the states you're from or the diaspora. We're all on the same plan, the same mission, and that's to repatriate back and to go back to where we come from for the land of our ancestors and to educate, motivate. You know what I'm saying? We got to help each other who are not. Uh, in this, uh, the correct state of mind. We try to elevate them, open their mind, wake them up out of this coma, because we're all in a 400, 500 year coma, yes. and now it's all about to go, uh, it's about to be released. Now we took that matrix pill, now we can see what the truth is. You know, the truth is like our destiny. We've been searching all our life, what is this, what is yes. this? And then all the schools teaching us the wrong thing. The whole society is teaching us how not to be us, not how to, not how to love us. Mm -hmm. But now we're gonna start loving us. We're gonna start doing us, and that's what we're all about. Am I right, brother? Am I right, sis? Absolutely, yeah, exactly. absolutely, brother. Yeah. Um, and See, I love this guy right here. <laughs> yeah. And, and and I also want to interject and say, for one of my main purposes, also for repatriating. I look at it, it's, it's something I feel that I owe to the ancestors. When we had our ancestors who were taken away, ripped from the breast of Africa, put in those holes of those slave ships, and for the ones who said they refused to be uh, colonized and uh, be in captivity, who had to end their own lives and to save their own families and many generations to come. The people that died on that transatlantic slave trade coming across those seas, the, I, I believe that the ancestors definitely had always had this yearning desire to get back. I can't say I think that, I know that. And that actually ends with me. Through repatriation, returning back, that's one of the biggest gifts that you can actually give your ancestors. It's the very biggest gift that you can get to know that everything that you learned over here in the West and in the diaspora, that it wasn't in vain. And yes, we had many challenges, but I think that we were preserved to be the most strongest people to actually get up have and develop that skill set to go ahead and return back home and to be able to defend that land. And not just to be able to defend that land, but to also put notice to everyone around the world that Africa is not the place to mess with. We almost, what, at a couple billion people now, mm -hmm. right? Yep. And you have a place that the entire globe actually relies upon. Africa is the heartbeat of everything. With, with the absence of mm -hmm. Africa and African people, you yep. would not have a society. You would not have culture. You would not have education. You wouldn't right. be able to have sciences. And when we come from the uh, diaspora, we have always been taught that we were never a part of that. We have been lied to. That's and right. the same thing with our brothers and sisters over on the continent. They've been lied to about what really happened yeah. to all of their brothers and sisters. We all share the same ancestor. The only difference is, is maybe one didn't go to the beach that day and the other ones had to get on that boat and go. Teach it, so teach it. when I'm over here, um, you know, I get very passionate, very emotional when I'm talking about my black people and when I'm talking about my foundational black Americans, when I'm talking about um, our continental Africans and everyone throughout the diaspora, it is nothing but love. We may have fundamental differences, but at the end of the day, we are only one. We are African people. 
where regardless if we speak the same language or not, that just shows how universal in our footprint in this entire globe is. Yep. That's right. So, that's right. Yeah, you know, just wanted to go ahead and just put that out what's, there. What's I the digress. Channel? What's your channel, uh, bro? My channel, I'm, I'm the uh, Melanated Mr. Mosley. All right, yeah, I like that's that. my channel. Like so that. go ahead and uh, go ahead and check me out. Um, I'm, we're ranging and talking about anything but strictly melanated issues. That's right. We're not talking about any newly fabricated minorities that mm -hmm. overshadow all of these different things when yep. it comes to talking about foundational black issues. Yep. And I'm unabashed and unafraid. So I will let y'all know I am the melanated Mr. Mosley. You can tune into my channel. Yes. Right. Someday it might Fine. be on and someday it may be taken off. You know, if it happens to get a little bit too real, then you may find me on a different platform. But if you want to get real information, if you want to get authentic mm -hmm. information, Definitely go ahead and tune into the channel, brothers and sisters. He's I'm spitting lit. that fire right spitting there. Spitting hot, lit. That's bro. why I said we Woo. survived for a reason. Our ancestors survived that whole transatlantic everything, and we're here yep. still. All the all the nonsense, all the oppression that's been put on us to this point. Yep. They've given us hypertension, diabetes, everything under the sun, and we still here. We survived everything for this point. I feel like and. Us coming together with the, the rest of the diaspora, with the rest of the continent, is only going to make us stronger. And they don't want to see it. That's why we're trying to get out now. Because mm -hmm. they may stop because they're going to see how powerful we're going to be. True. Um, it's just it's just awesome to connect with other people who think the same. Because not everybody in our circles is ready for what we're about to do. And not everybody understands it. And a lot of people are scared. We may be scared at some, some point in time. Yeah. But we're doing it. Because there's no there's no other way. We gotta go. We're welcome. We're gonna feel like we're home for once. We never felt like we're home here. It doesn't matter if your grandparents fought in the war. It don't matter if you was in the military. It don't matter if you gave your life for this country. They still never gonna see us as one of them or as deserving of this land. So we gotta go. Take our resources. They, they don't deserve them. Take them and give them to people who look like us, who love us, who feed us food that doesn't make us sick, is, who help true. us without asking for for life insurance, money, whatever. Like, that's where we're supposed to be. It's gonna be an adjustment because we gotta let go of what we're used to here. Yep. So, true. you know, but we have each other. And that's the beautiful thing about this whole repat exodus movement, blacks and everything that's going, we have each other for, the, for that support. That's and right. that's gonna make the transition that much smoother. What's your channel again, man? Afro Millennial Mama. That's, please subscribe. Woo, please subscribe. Please subscribe. We got, hey, our ancestors are calling us. They're talking to us right now today. For us to even have this meeting right now. We had a good lunch, Ethiopian, healthy meal, healthy uh, uh, drinks, everything. So just, you know, even though we're not on the continent, there's no, there's no, no problem with us eating like we're on the continent right now. And that's what we're doing. You know what I'm saying? So even my man, S Man African, he mentioned that. Start shopping. Stop shopping at all these Walmarts and all that stuff. Go to African yes. uh, restaurants and, um, and markets and things like that. There's a market right next door to us in this restaurant, uh, next to this restaurant right now. So we can do that. So I'm, I'm a, uh, we gonna we can take a walk over there. If yeah, want we can. To. Yeah, yeah. So let's take a walk over there with these people, man. It's fine. Let's people. go walk What's with up, the bro? happy couple. Hey, how you doing? How you doing, brother? Y'all <laughs> um, yeah. already know how I get. You know, I get oh, definitely, I get passionate when it comes to telling the truth. The truth <laughs> hey, the truth is the truth, even if nobody believes it. That's how about right. that? That's right. Okay. Yes. I'm gonna get you on here too, so that's not true. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, I, I know you guys getting tired of looking at me, so I got some good people else to look at, you know what I'm saying? Go ahead, go ahead, chop it up. We're just chop up today. We talking about repatriation. She talking about building schools. Where you gonna build schools at, man? Synagogue. Synagogue. So talk to us. Alright. Hey, y'all. So, we about to go with the Happy Companion and check out this market Ethiopian market. So let's go inside and see. You ready?
never drink. Really? When he goes to the club, this is what he drinks. That was so awesome. I've had the best day with the happy companion and company. And we just ate, chopped it up, talking about when we go to Africa, it's gonna be so bomb. They're gonna come to my house in in uh Thanksgiving or the holidays, we're going to go to Gambia, we, they're going to come to Senegal, we're going to chop it up some more, have some fun times. It's like, it's real awesome to meet people who are like-minded, you know? Let me put my sunglasses on because it's hot out here. But, uh, yeah, we're here in sunny California in Little Ethiopia, Afro Millennial Mama. The Happy Companion is like my big brother now, so I've adopted him into the family. So, it's what's up. And my husband didn't get to come, but he got to talk to him on the phone. So that was really special. And um, he invited us to lunch. He took care of everybody's meal, which was really sweet. So he's a nice guy. Really the same person that you see on camera. That's how he is. So I'm gonna uh, get in my car right now and uh, go pick up this kid. Y'all stay black. We the best, we the dopest. I love my people. It's like so awesome to be with my people, especially from the West Coast. But uh, I love y'all. Peace out.